Good Thursday morning. Hope you are doing well. Uh, excited to be able to share again today with you, and uh, we're going to continue in Jeremiah 29 11. So let me read it, and then we'll go from there. For I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And so yesterday we took and we looked that God's plan for us was well-being. Well, we see also today that God's plan for us is not to have disaster. And uh, I'm thinking of, as I'm thinking of this, I'm looking back in the Israelites, and they are in captivity right now, and probably looking around and being like, yo, Lord, what, what's up? <laughs> Your plan isn't for us to have disaster. Uh, and then my mind kind of went to think, well, what about my life? What causes disaster in my life? Because when you look at the transliteration of the word disaster, it is raw. And let me tell you what it means. It means evil, misery, distress, all these things being summed up. And uh, and in my life, I, I got to thinking, what causes that? It's not from God. God has a plan for me. He had a plan for the Israelites. But when I think about it, it's me that causes that. When my sin nature uh, that's still inside of me rears its head sometimes, it's I and the one that causes the trouble and the distress in my life. And, and then that sin nature and the world that's around us because uh, one of the things we we talk about with the youth is that we can't expect lost people to act like saved people. They're lost. They need Jesus. And so they have a sin nature that is unbridled, that's uncontrolled. And, and the, if we look at our world, that is the cause around us. And so God's plan is different from the world's plan. And God doesn't want us to have evil, disaster. And I believe we bring a lot of it on ourselves and the world around us. So then we must turn to trust in God's plan and trust for his protection. Trust that uh, he has uh, a purpose for us and us follow that. Uh, last night on our Wednesday night study, we talked about our mindset. And I, I believe if we have a mindset and understanding what God wants for us, his purpose and his plan for us, then we see things from a different angle. So here's my thing today, summing it up, is that I, I do believe God's plan for us is that we won't have evil misery and that he will protect us in a world that we live that is in a sin-fallen state. And we need to have the mindset of trust, of faith in God. And so, uh, you know, next time you're looking around and uh, maybe questioning like, man, why? Why is this happening? Examine yourself first. See, that's, that's what I do. I examine myself. What have I done to get myself into it? Um, and uh, if you ask my wife, that's usually where we look. It's me. But, uh, but secondly, you know, trust God through it. Understand of his plans, what his plans are for us. And uh, man, let's, let's go live on purpose for him. Uh, who, who you being Jesus to today? Who are you loving today? You know, remember, everywhere we go, we're an ambassador for him. So go be Jesus today. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.